Hi there guys, old man Chris again. Uh, this is probably going to be a quickie. I'm calling it a quickie. It'll be called, I think, Bits 02. <laughs> um, but knowing me and my quickies, they're not always quite that brief. Anyway, one or two odds and ends here. Uh, I got uh, one new thing came through, which I'm hoping will be useful. I'll show you that. The rotary table job I did recently, I've mounted it to the uh, the mill table and uh, you can see then how my modification has worked pretty well. I also had a gift which came today and I'm going to be thrilled to show you that because I'm th I was thrilled to get it. Uh, came from a subscriber, Terry Lemke from Missouri. I didn't know what the heck was in the box and what I found was delightful and I'll show you that soon. Uh, the chuck back plate thing, I'm still keeping that on hold a bit along with the sharpening system <clears throat> uh, because a friend of mine has a spare back plate which sounds as though it's eminently suitable for my uh, chuck although I have one, I mean I've still got one that I can go ahead and use but I'm going to wait and see if this other one turns up. It, at the moment he hasn't found it, so I don't know quite where that'll go. Uh, plus I'm probably going to be a bit short on time in the shop. We'll see how that works out. I've got a number of what I call silly little jobs I want to do. Not things really worth videoing, but we'll see on that. Alright, so up and coming here is just uh, a few bits and pieces. Alright. So, if you remember the rotary table job, I've now got lots of clearance. So I've still got, uh, in fact, about an inch ahead of the DRO cover, uh, which is more than needed, but that's the way it worked out. So the extension has worked pretty well, and the pointer, not that pretty, but it's functional. But the main thing is, the mistake handle, which finished up shorter than I'd actually planned and you can see that the advancement on there is absolutely dead easy alright but I still got the fine control there so I can take out the backlash and move up to a graduation in fact I might even modify the pointer to come onto the top but at the moment I have it set so that zero on here matches one of the marks on the turntable which I didn't remind you of since my initial description long ago each mark on the turntable is three revolutions of this and is 30 degrees so from zero here to three uh, we go one graduation on the table so it's pretty good to use and I think I mentioned I put a text on it actually uh, these locking pieces here, this one locks the table, that one locks the spindle or shaft and they are both, they both have on the end a brass pad. Alright, so you can just see now that that, although that small extension is, is smaller than intended, <laughs> it actually does very very nicely. Now this is what I received from Terry this morning. You can tell the scale of it by my fat hands. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful little piece? Made out of 3 8 square, quarter of an inch base plate, 3 8 flywheel, a uh, tiny little air supply tube. I've made up a little adapter to see if I could have it working absolutely gorgeous simple but brilliant and the time taken to machine something like this anybody in the uh, engineering sphere would realize how much is involved bearing in mind here you've got to have your airports and uh, I mean the whole thing is just brilliant let me just get it hooked up alright I've got a I've got the compressor uh, regulator output set on about 10 pounds 
sort of, so I'm not pushing a lot of air out. And this adapter is just being lashed up. But if I hold it in place, we should see something. Got to flick the flywheel, get it just over centre. Oh, I got it started just now easily. There you go. How do you like that? Isn't that pretty? Like most of these, you've got to have the flywheels give the fly, flywheel a flick or set it up towards bottom dead center, I suppose. There, flick it again. Flick it again. Here we go. Beautiful. Thank you, Terry. That is absolutely beautiful. Now I got these recently, these jaw inserts, magnetic, they came from Summit Racing, never thought of looking there. Uh, one of my viewers commented, gave the link, and uh, these are aluminum, but they're nicely veed. They're actually still a little bit big for this vise, which I'm using on the drill press, or I could easily set it up on the mill. Uh, the mill vise is silly small for these but these are about well, about 20 bucks I think and I thought that was pretty darn reasonable for those odd occasions this uh, vice does have grooves in it but uh, just as something extra for those fiddly shaped pieces I thought that was worth worth trying for 20 bucks not too bad. Uh, they'd go better on a large four inch vise or bigger. Anyway, quite pleased, maybe useful. Here we go, import time again. <laughs> uh, I've got one angle plate, uh, angle plate uh, which is fairly useful, not that I use it often. I wouldn't mind one or two more, but I saw this um, sort of sort of cheapy import. I've got to make this piece of wood warped. I've got to make a base for this so that it can come off the table and allow clearance for the handle. In theory it goes 45 to 45. I'll probably have to make one or two T-nuts for these T-slots. But I thought it was just another thing that if I put a small vise on it, let me see, I've got one, hang on. Now this is a small vise that I put on a multi-hole bottom plate long ago and I think that might work on there. The distance from here to what would be the table is less than my swivel and tilt vise so it would give me a bit more room and we'll probably be doing milling anyway or using stub drills so I think it'll be useful. So if we go now that gets in the way, so I'd have to make up another drive for this uh, square drive on here. So we could go, we could go that way and more, and then we can mount the vise more or less anywhere on there to suit the work. So I think that'll be useful. It's one of those things which is in the category, like so many, of not needed much, but now and again you got an awkward job. Oh, that might help. So I've got to make a base plate for this to uh, give it a bit of height off the table. I think that might be quite useful. Finally, for uh, this session, a few pieces of aluminum I've got. This one's got a slight mark on it here and there. I want to make a hole plate. Um, probably threaded uh, 3 8 16 maybe quarter 20 plus clearance holes for uh, T-nuts just a general purpose plate, something I've meant to make for quite a long time and I've noticed other people using something similar so I think we'll make this up one of the smaller jobs nothing very exciting to show but uh, it might well come in useful alright guys that's it this is Bits 02 
slightly longer quickie than meant than meant to be, but anyway, just a little fill in till I get back to something else. All right. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.